to go see my first client. Shouldn't take me long here because I got half the work done. Um, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood today. It is gorgeous outside. It must be it says 74 degrees, but it feels cool with no humidity, nice cool air. Like we've been needing this weather for so long. Three clients got to see this morning. So I'm just up. I made all my appointments to see them yesterday. So I'm up getting some breakfast. Ooh, sunlight. You see it shining on my skin? Um, yeah, so I have a client at 10, a client at 1, and then possibly a client at 2. So I'm just getting my tea together. Pops going to bed. I think that girl went to bed. Five o'clock in the morning. She about to get a rude awakening because her butt got to start getting up. We get ready to start school. We haven't started school here yet. I still need to do some more shopping for her. I got her one pair of sneakers. I'm gonna try to get her another pair. Um. Yeah, I mean she really don't even need them because. She's not hard on her shoes, and she got shoes that she got last year that's still new. But, oh, it's so sunny. But um, I want to get them together. I don't think I ever mentioned to y'all that, like, I lost my father in May. And that, like, that end of the, what's up with this curl? Like, the end of May, all the kids were being quarantined for school. They went to school for a week. Then they were quarantined another day. The next day they go back and then they quarantine another week. Well, Todd had contacted COVID. So she was coughing, coughing, coughing. And I said, well, it's not unusual for her to cough because when um, she has allergies and usually that first day she does that constant cough thing. But we were all closed up in the car when she was doing it. Next thing I know, I said, let me just test her. She came up positive for COVID. My brother was in town. He stayed with us after the funeral a couple of days. And he started coughing. I said, what you what you coughing for? He was like, nothing, leave me alone. I said, uh -uh, you got cooties. You got the cooties. He was like, I ain't got nothing. I said, let me test you. He had COVID. Then four days later, I had COVID. Everybody had a light case of it. I think two months after I had COVID, I still had this cough. And I'm just getting over the cough. So, yeah, COVID had hit our household. But, um... Girl, what scares me the most is this monkey pox. I am not trying to get that mess. Like, ugh. I remember getting chicken pox, but I don't even think kids get chicken pox no more. My, my kids never got chicken pox. Top never got chicken pox. Like, I don't know when the last time I heard somebody say that they got chicken pox, but I take chicken pox over monkey pox any day. But, um, yeah, I'm going to check out with y'all throughout the day, and we'll pick up later. time. So you do dumb stuff when you're tired. I checked my oil yesterday. I done been riding around all day with the top where you pull the oil in the engine off to the side. Oil just coming all up in my car, but it didn't come up with a windshield where I could see it. And I noticed my hood looked like it wasn't closed. And it, cause it wasn't closed. It, I, I didn't even shut it. I put oil in it last night and walked away from it and left it like that. The whole, I've been traveling some miles today. See, I gotta look after fools. Cause, oh man, I was so dumb. Like, oh my God, I kept seeing it moving. And I'm, I remember I left the oil cap off of it a couple of times. This ain't the first time I did this. But luckily, it's, the oil's like all on the engine and stuff. But now I gotta go get some oil and put it in the car. Hey y'all, I'm right where I left y'all at the last time. In the car, rushing around, still seeing clients. It's about four o'clock. Today's been a dizzy, busy day. Cause I usually don't have to work this late. And I still got like two more clients I gotta see. So I'll check on check on check in with you when I get home. Here's my breakfast. Three tomato slices, some bacon, some eggs with goat cheese and green onion. I saw the bare, barefoot Contessa do that this morning, so I'm trying it out. We'll let you know how it is. Okay, I'm going to try the eggs and see if I like them like that. So I usually just crack them right in the pan, and just salt and pepper on them in there, and put some seasoning in it, and, and that's it. But um, sometimes I put cheese or onion in my eggs, but um, goat cheese, I don't know. Hmm. That's pretty good. 
gave it like a creamy feeling. Taste like a little tang in it. We'll make them again. Sounds good. Oh, trying to get ready for school. Got to get these dinners together. And I'll probably meal prep some of them. So we'll have it together because we're on a whole new schedule this, this year than last year. So we got to get it together. But just wanted to share that with y'all. Thank you. Um, I got two hauls. I got one from Dollar Tree and then one from um, ShopRite. So let's see what we got. Top likes chocolate um, milkshakes. School's coming up, so I got top Elio pizza she can cook herself. Rice, and I bought these marinades. This one's really, really good. I haven't tried that one out, but this one, marinate the chicken overnight. It makes it so tender when you cook it on the grill. And these are what I'm gonna marinate and have them marinated chicken and over some jasmine rice and a vegetable, maybe a salad or something. Milk, because I got top a milk. Um, she, she likes milkshakes. Um, these soft pretzels is something that's a snack she can have after school. Bacon for breakfast or like string beans. I put it in string beans to make the taste, season it in string beans. Um, cheese, why the hell not? Because I put it in everything. Um, mustard, Dijon mustard, vines, tomatoes, um, some frozen vegetables for dinner. So maybe I can have that with the chicken. Lunch meat. I don't want to see my lunch meat. I see the cheese, and I don't see the meat. Oh, here it is. Got turkey with provolone cheese, and another one of these marinades by Grill Mate. Um, some avocados, bread for sandwiches, and Ina, um, the Beth Contessa was putting this in her eggs, so I eat eggs all the time, so I wanted to try that. The goat cheese and the Dollar Tree haul. These are the containers for extra milkshake that she makes. She can drink it out of that. Some juice, some cleaning gloves, because she don't learn how to clean that bathroom. Some cookies for a snack, candy for snack, candy for snack. And she likes this color lip gloss. Refill my soap in the bathroom and some bags and salad fixings and straw for a milkshake. These cool pops and now the seasonings. I got the Memphis style barbecue. Um, what is it? Langhorn, Langhorn grill seasoning, crushed red pepper flakes. Bacon bits for salad. Um, what is this? Steakhouse seasonings. Some Italian seasonings. Just try to up my seasoning. Me and my friend Evelyn, we're all about the seasonings. Come on, y'all. But y'all say she in that car again. Yup. <laughs> That's when I remember the vlog is when I get in the car. Well, you know what day it is. It's Wednesday, so it's dump day. Going to the dump. I unloaded the car. I only got one bag of dump trash for the dump and one bag of um recyclables and some cardboard but um if i don't take it today i'm working midnight tonight so y'all know it's not gonna be a good night so i come home tomorrow and then i work friday so i come home saturday i am not gonna be getting up going to no dump and i have to get this trash out because it's summertime and i don't need no maggots and stuff so we, it got to go